we know that the data transmission rate of standard Ethernet is 10 Mbps. In the 1990s, there were some LAN technologies that were providing transmission rate higher than 10 Mbps. Ethernet technology that has to survive. So, it made a big jump by increasing its transmission rate to 100 Mbps. That 100 Mbps Ethernet is called as fast Ethernet. To achieve 100 Mbps speed, max layer was left unchanged. That means that the frame format was the same and the maximum and minimum size of the frame remained same. The goal of uh, the fast Ethernet are to upgrade the data rate to 100 Mbps and make it compatible with standard Ethernet and keeping the same 48-bit address and keeping the same frame format. In fast Ethernet, bus topology was completely dropped. Instead of bus topology, passive hub and star topology that were used and size of the network that is also reduced to 250 meters instead of 2500 meters as in the standard ethernet to store frames link layer switch with buffer that are used and established a full duplex connection so the transmission medium is private for each host so there will be no contention so no need of csma cd shared medium is changed to to many point to point media and there is no need for contention fast ethernet that is must compatible with the standard ethernet the data rate of standard ethernet is 10 mbps but for the standard uh, fast ethernet is 100 mbps so for that auto negotiation that allows two device to negotiate the mode or data rate of operation it was designed particularly to allow incompatible devices to connect to one another physical layer topology if there is only two stations they were connected as point to point if more than two stations those will be connected as in star topology with a hub or switch at the center there are three implementation techniques in fast ethernet technology one is 100 base tx 100 base fx 100 base t4 in 100 base TX, two ETP category 5 cables were used. In 100 base FX, two fiber cables were used. In 100 base T4, four category 3 UTP cables were used. Coming to the encoding part of 100 base TX, MLT3 scheme was selected because it has a good bandwidth performance. But the problem is MLT3 is not a self-synchronous line coding scheme. For that, we are going to use additionally 4B, 5B block coding. That will provide bit synchronization by preventing the occurrence of long sequences of zeros and ones. Here in 100 base TX, two UTP cables that were used one for reception and another for transmission in 100 base fx two fiber cables were used and the encoding scheme was nrzi but this is also having the bit synchronization problem for that we are going to use 4p5b encoder in 100 base t4 four number of category 3 utp cables were used and the encoding scheme that is 8B6T encoders while transmitting 
and that same decoder that will be used for a reception we can see here that the medium used medium length and number of wires used and the encoding schemes 100 base tx the length is 100 meter 100 base fx medium length is 185 meter 100 base t4 the medium length is 100 meter Here in 100 base TX, the medium that may be unshielded or shielded cables. In 100 base FX, the fiber cables were used. 100 base T4, it is unshielded cable, twisted pair. The number of cables, 2, 2, 4, and the encoding schemes. <coughs> 